Melvin's been in a hurry his whole life. He stepped out of the womb himself and told the doctor to hurry up because I got stuff to do. His dad served in three different wars and was an immigrant to Canada. It was very hard on Melvin, but it turned him into a beast. He's running at 200 miles per hour, trying to get everything done so he can be successful as an adult. No girls, no booze, no Mario Kart, no pool parties. Oh man. His posture is so immaculate, he may as well have a pole up his ass. Flash forward 10 years later, he is now a fully grown man. He's a workaholic, but decides to link up with some of his old buddies to reminisce about the good old days. He thinks back to some of the best memories of his life that he had in high school. What's up you cockroaches? <coughs> <coughs> I'm gonna do another video on high school. I think these are really useful. Looking back, there are certain memories, certain experiences you go through, especially considering it's like one of the first times you experience it that are so funny and so powerful and such a strong memory. Usually bond you form with a couple other guys for the rest of your life because you went through that same thing together and it was really jokes. First thing is having your first crush and wheeling. I still remember I was like, I don't know, grade nine or grade 10 and there'd be like this, you know, hot girl in my class that's like she sits next to me and we get put in a group together so you start thinking like oh my god like this girl's so hot like she's perfect she says she listens to music i love music music you know and you have all these little things in your head because we're getting all these fucking hormones rushing through our bodies like you're getting boners and wet dreams and shit and you go home and you're just thinking like, oh, dude, like this girl, I'm gonna make her my girlfriend. And then we're gonna fuck and then I'm gonna take her to prom. And you know, you have all these like thoughts. It's all brand new to us. And at the time, we also think like, oh, like but this one girl, she's special, she's different. Best way one of my buddies described it is when we form like a crush on somebody, we oftentimes have a couple pieces of information about them, but the spots that we don't know about we fill in the blanks with optimism. So we don't even know what she's like at home, but we assume she's perfect, like her and her family get along very well. She has like brothers and sisters and cooks amazing and she has all these cool hobbies and she goes to bed early and brushes her teeth. We don't even know. Maybe she goes home and farts and clogs the toilet with big shits and she smokes cigarettes with her dad. We have no idea, but we fill in those spots thinking, oh yeah, she's perfect, she's dreamy. First stage was having the crush and then there was wheeling, okay? Here in Canada, when you'd make moves on a girl, it'd be called wheels. You would like hang out with a girl every class, sit next to her, then you're wheeling. You guys are wheeling. You have some wheels going right now. Like, oh yeah, John's wheeling Bridget over there. Like, oh yeah, they're wheeling. And we were just basically pretending to be doing schoolwork and stuff, but being like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we got to get that project done. Definitely. Um, we should work on it after school, you know, or like, Yo, what are you doing at lunch? Basically think of excuses to hang out with that chick, you know, pretend to be into the group project or the book or like, oh, I know the assignment, you know? But in reality, we're trying to fuck. We're trying to like get in the girl's pants <laughs> because we have a crush on them. And sometimes this is reciprocal, right? Like the girl will usually, if you're friend zone, be like, oh, this guy's just my friend, right? They, uh, idiot. They have no idea that this guy actually wants to uh, hook up with you and like make you his girlfriend and shit. But um, you know, you can't say that. So you always go, no, nah, no, nah, bro, we're just friends, man. You know, we're just friends. Again, me and all our boys, like we're sitting in the hallway standing and then like the girl walks by and everyone's like, oh. you know, the boy hits you like, there she is, bro. And you're just like, what's up, Jessica? Yeah. Oh, dude, you're gonna ask her out yet, you know? And that whole experience of like all the boys hyping you up and like, it was just so funny and so silly. It's so immature, but fucking classic. You see them walking together, you see your boy and the chick walking together and you walk by and then you like fist bump them and then you guys look like, oh, there he is, dude. Oh my God, wheels, they're wheeling right now. I really miss that experience because the only way you can recreate that is if everybody is in a shared environment, forced to be together, but it's also not that serious. Everybody's at the same point and then like you're gonna see each other for a long period of time. That's one of the best memories I have in high school. Just the stupid, relentless pursuit of getting girls and like having crushes and wheeling. The next thing is sneaking out of your parents' house. So <laughs> all you do is leave your house, but some people, they have really fucking strict parents, man. I remember this one kid, his parents were like super religious and he couldn't even like look at alcohol, let alone drink it. But every day we would skip class and go to his house and hit bowls out of his fucking kitchen sink. We'd get like a two liter Coke bottle, cut the top off, fill it with water, and then we would get a smaller water bottle, cut the bottom off or burn holes in it. And we'd use our rusty fucking socket wrench to fill with some cush. And we'd just rip waterfalls <laughs> up like that in his living room. And I wouldn't say that's like sneaking out of your parents' house. It's more like sneaking into his parents' house when they were at work. 
But just little things like that where your adrenaline's pumping, like, oh, like they could come home any minute. Oh my God, bro, 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 blow the smoke out, bro. It fucking smells, bro. You get a towel and you start ripping the towel again. Like those first mini little experiences with like drugs and alcohol, sneaking around, saying that you're going to bed and then you crawl out your window and go to a party. Like your buddy's waiting around the corner and you don't have a car. So you crawl out your window down from your roof and then your buddy is like standing behind a bush on the corner with your like Nokia cell phones. iPhones were like for very rich kids. Nobody really had an iPhone. So everybody had like a shitty LG phone. So like the text messages were just very straight to the point. You, you couldn't really use them for wheeling. You know, you guys are sneaking around. You got your hoodies on. You're drinking your fucking monster energies. And then you sneak out just to like go and buy candy from the convenience store or like hit a bong toke in the forest or maybe go to a party on a Friday or Saturday. But that whole idea of like sneaking around, parents probably knew what you were doing. They probably knew what I was doing. I remember when I went to parties, I'd like raid the liquor cabinet. What I would do is there'd be like a bottle of vodka and I would take out a cup and I would put a cup of water in it thinking they wouldn't notice. And my parents weren't really drinkers, so they didn't notice. It looked the same, but they never even checked in the first place. But I was like telling all my friends like, yeah, man, like I weighed the bottle. It's so smooth, you know, but in reality, it wasn't a big deal. The next one's like house parties. House parties are an all-time classic. You have all your buddies, girls and guys, sometimes your friends, family, like their brothers and sisters, the local guy up the street, whatever, your neighbors. Uh, Y'all just get together and you have a jam in the basement usually, you know? You got a couple red solo cups, you're drinking, you got like a movie on, some TV show, the cards are out, Monopoly, fucking Catan, whatever. The best time ever, because again, you're all so optimistic about the future. You're all complaining about the same things like, oh, class is such a drag, it's so stupid, this weekend, such and such. And what's cool about the house parties back then too is like, when you went to good ones, like, you know, there's some older kids there, there's some booze, the chick that you like have a crush on is gonna be there. It's way more fun because that week it's all hyped. Like, yo, man, you going to Stevens on Friday? Like, bro, like we need to figure out what we're going to do for Stevens on Friday. Like you have to kind of set up the logistics. Whose house are you guys going to crash at? Because, you know, your parents aren't going to drive you there. They're not going to want to pick you up. You're not telling your parents you're going to a party. You're just telling them, oh, I'm going out with my friends. But in reality, you know, you guys are all going to get fucking destroyed, blackout at a party. So you got to be like low key about it. But there's all that hype. And then after that weekend, everybody talks about the party. Like, oh, dude, this weekend, Saturday was a movie, craziest party ever. And the funniest part is that when you look back later on in life, the parties aren't even close to lit. But at the time, since it's all you know, and it's all your buddies from class and stuff, and you're all trying everything for the first time, like again, one guy drinks one beer and he's destroyed and it's the funniest thing ever. Or like somebody takes a second bong toke and they're puking everywhere. That's fucking classic. It's so fun and new because you're all noobs. You're all noobs that are just like spamming the fucking fun button for the first time. When you go to college, university, the parties are way bigger and there's way more people, but there's more like competition. It's more serious. There's like people that are older. Cause you know, once you're out of high school, it's all ages. You could have 35 year olds there. You could have guys that are like giga chads, you know, all-star athletes, famous people. You could have girls that you've never even seen before that are like ungodly hot. Like you've never seen a girl that hot in your life. There's like bunch of frat boys people are out drinking you it's just a very serious vibe like it's not as intimate and fun at a high school party because at the very least in high school parties you all go to the same high school or you're all from the same city so there's like a sense of you all have something in common you all kind of know each other and you're all on the same side like if another school showed up all of a sudden everybody's like together you're all tight if the police show up Everybody's like, whoa, whoa, fuck the police, you know? So it's a very intimate bond. I'm not saying I went to a bunch of parties in high school, but I went to a, 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 well, yeah, I did go to a decent amount of parties. They were all really fun. The last couple of years for my job, I've gone to thousands of parties, but I still have a special place in my heart for like the ones in high school. They're just simple, fun. And uh, at the time you're learning. So everything's brand new. Drinking is the coolest thing ever. You don't know, the future is just optimistic. It's just great. Another one of the best memories you'll have in high school is PA days and snow days if you're a Canadian because the weekend's kind of lame. Like, you know, maybe you have a part-time job or you chill at home, see your family. You stay up Friday night with the boys and play some Xbox. But realistically, like, eh, whatever. Everybody knows Saturday's coming, Sunday's coming. But a PA day, they sneak up on you. All of a sudden, it's like, yo, we get Friday off? <laughs> Nobody's got plans. It's a weekday. So your parents, they don't give a fuck. They still have work. So... 
nothing changes with them. What ends up happening is you go on an adventure with your buddies. Like it's a snow day. You get a phone call. Yo, dude, no, no school. You want to hang out? Everybody hangs out. And all of a sudden you guys go on an adventure and it's totally different. On the weekend, it's like everybody's busy. Everybody's got their own thing they got to do. Um, you know, oh, it's the weekend. Like, you know, come on. We got, I'll see you Monday, dude. I'll see you Monday, Chris. We don't need to chill on the weekend, bro. I'll see you Monday. Okay. Relax. But if there's a PA day, it's like, ah, fuck it, Chris. Let's go. Let's go to the waterfall, buddy. Let's go. Let's go on a hike. You know, you and all the guys get together and it's like a bonus day. I think that's why it's so good. Uh, it's funny. Now that I run my own business, I can, every day is a PA day if I want it to be. But back then it was like, yo, we all got to chill now because we got a bonus day. Another thing that I will never be able to get back that I think was the best. And this wasn't just high school. This was middle school too is the sleep overnights with the boys. So you and all your buddies, you go to, you have like that one friend whose parents are super cool and they have a big basement with like a big TV set up, all the couches, and they have a fucking freezer filled with corn dogs, freezies, ice cream sandwiches. And then they're like, fuck it, I'll buy the boys pizza, you know? So you and your boys are in the basement, you got these couches, TV, video game controllers. You guys stay up till fucking 2 a.m. just playing video games watching horror movies, watching comedy movies. You got pizza, wings, sometimes a little, little brewski, a couple brews from the garage that your dad left there. You have all these things and all it is is you and a bunch of guys, you're just laying on the floor. You got pillows, you're talking about the girl you're wheeling. You're talking about the other girl you're wheeling. You're asking the boys who you think the hottest fucking girl is, <laughs> who, which chick you wanna bang the most, what parties are coming up, uh, what movie just came out, the new song that came out. You're playing like Nintendo 64, fucking Super Smash Brothers, Mario Kart, Call of Duty. You guys are taking turns, roasting each other. Maybe you're watching movies for the first time. This is something that you'll never get to experience again. I remember in high school watching all of these classic movies for the first time with my friends, like Grandma's Boy, Super Bad, Pineapple Express, all of these hilarious comedies and you and all your buddies are stoned off your face, just laughing your ass off at like these Seth Rogen movies. You're staying up late. You don't have a worry in the world because the only thing you have to do on Monday or whenever you go back to school is just show up. That's it. That's all high school is, is just showing up. So you don't have any worries in the world and you and the boys are just talking shit, staying up late. Maybe you guys go for a walk to the convenience store, those little missions like, oh, we got the munchies at midnight. You never get those days back, guys. Just staying up all night with your boys, laying on the ground in the basement, watching TV, playing video games, nothing better. That brings me to the conclusion of this video. The reason that some of the best memories of your life you'll ever have are in high school with your buddies is because you're learning everything for the first time. It's this uh, gap between you and then your adult self where you're still learning everything, like driving. I remember the first time one of my buddies got a car, you're supposed to have a parent with you, but he just has the four of us in the car. We're hotboxing it. We're fucking flying through school zones. It's recess. And we're just like hitting 80 on a 40, just flying around the neighborhoods, just laughing our asses off. Like he'll break last minute. Our faces go up against the window. And it's just a shit show, but it's so funny. It's so fun. Like just being in a car and it not being anybody that knows what they're doing, driving behind the wheel. Super dangerous, guys. I don't recommend doing this, but it was the coolest thing ever. It was like a roller coaster. When you lose your virginity or like when you're one of your boys does and then, you know, you guys have a sleepover and you're all chilling in the basement. And he's like, what was pussy like? Did it smell funny? Like, what is it? Did it make a noise? You know, like what were her boobs like? I wish I could make a sound effect for this, but when, you know, three or four of your boys all at once, you're all like, oh yeah. <laughs> Again, guys, it's the funniest thing ever. You're learning everything for the first time. So it's brand new because you're a fucking noob. It's great being a noob. I always shit on you guys for being cockroaches and Melvins, but being a cockroach and Melvin is really fun. It's some of the best memories of your life. Just being a noob. You don't know anything. So everything is crazy. Like the first time you ask a girl out and you make out with a girl or you go to a party or you drive a car or your parents go for the weekend. You have the boys over the fridge has a bunch of ice cream and you got 50 bucks for the whole weekend to spend on like pizza. I mean, oh, it's the best. Nothing's better, guys. So as much as I would like to artificially recreate some of these scenarios, it's very hard to do because now we're all adults. We have like careers. We have responsibilities, girlfriends. And most people, they have a lot of shit they got to do. They're playing catch up. You know, again, in high school, there's no rush. There's nothing that you have to do. You don't have a job. All you have to do is show up. So it's very easy to just let go and relax and have fun. 
But as you're an adult, you never have that anymore. And if you called all your buddies up like, yo, dude, let's just all have a sleepover, lay on the couch. Guarantee everybody would just pull their phones out and be on their phones. That should have been the thing I started this video with. Nobody was on their phones. Nobody would hang out and just go on their phone and be scrolling Twitter and snap. But that didn't happen. Everybody talked in person. It was like a certain level of respect. If you were on your phone, it was weird. But now I feel like everybody just sits together and goes on their phones and that's it. So those are the best memories you'll have in high school, boys. Um, if you had similar memories, I'd love to hear you guys share it in the comments below. If you like these videos where I go over high school stuff and advice, like if you're in high school right now and you like these videos, leave me a comment below. Also join the Discord. We have a group of good guys. You can learn self-improvement, fitness, entrepreneurship, and just share some fun stories about what's going on. And the other guys in the group will help you out. The next video to watch after this one is right on the screen. So go and click that and I'll see you guys in there.